good morning i am in the kitchen it's sunday morning and i just woke up i have been literally partying all weekend because of spellman and morehouse's homecoming and i cannot be happier to say that i am just so elated to be in the house so today what i wanted to do was just a vlog on getting ready with me for my week kind of how i take sundays to get the house together get everything together so that you know it's just gonna set the feng shui for the week and i like to just you know do a lot of stuff for youtube on sundays plan things out so i thought today would be a good day to show y'all how i kind of like stay organized and stay prepared this week i need to Go to the gym two times this week to three times. So I need to figure out what day I want to do that in the morning. Gonna go to the office one day this week and I am in trainings for three or four days this week and I have to prioritize. I'm gonna commit myself to waking up in the mornings. What I really would love to do is wake up in the mornings, meditate, um, and then study. And then the two to three days, well, two days, maybe to three days this week that I want to go to the gym instead of just going straight into studying i'd like to wake up meditate kind of just collect my thoughts and then um go to the gym and then come back and use my like 9 to 11 a.m block to study in the mornings the solution that i need to be learning um and then i have trainings from like 11 to 2 or 3 every single day so kind of just waking up early this week really putting a lot into motion i really really have to learn a lot onboarding here has been a really positive experience there's nothing wrong with it but i am being fire hosed with information so this week i really have to kind of like lock in now that i at least know how to use the tools i'm getting access to certain things now it's like okay i need to take kind of what they've been telling me about a lot and apply it so this hookah has been here for a few days so i have just purchased um this side table over here which I really like. Baby Chloe is kind of sick. So I did this little decorative piece over here. Tell me you guys thoughts. But I thought I would want to tie it in. I got to take some of the clothes off of there, wipe down the counters, do more counter wiping right here and just get everything clean. So as you can see, it's not dirty or anything today. Um, but I do want to tidy up. Um, and then I have been you know, really having the opportunity for more brands to reach out and work with me. So I'm really excited, y'all. Thank you guys for the support because it's definitely helping me. Um, I also got this new light fixture I love in the house. But um, we're going to undo and change the bedding and the sheets because it's Sunday and I feel like we need going into a fresh week and we need fresh sheets as well. So can't wait to show you the new bedding set that I received. Um, and I'll give you all the details when we get upstairs and I'm going to unbox it with you all. Um, but first, let's just go ahead and get the kitchen cleaned up. I'm about to put on some good Sunday soulful music. And right now it is, um, it's 10.53. And I love to watch Potter's House LA on Sundays for church um, and just get that good word in the morning. So I am going to probably put this on mute, cut on a little bit of worship and, and YouTube while I tidy up the place and you guys can see what goes into my Sunday. So let's start off with Sunday cleaning y'all. Have a great week whenever you're seeing this video. And I hope that, you know, after watching this vlog, you kind of take the initiative to just clean up the house, clean up your energy, do all those things, get your mind right and reset for the week. So happy Sunday and I'll be seeing y'all soon.
with y'all. So I just want to shout out to Peace Nest for sending me um, this awesome comforter. So I received a three-piece plus Sherpa down alternative comfort set, and I got it in queen, and I chose the dark gray. And you're going to see me swap it out. I thought it went perfect with my room, but just want you all to check out their website if you are interested in down alternatives, which can tend to run really expensive. This is a really great affordable option, and I love sleeping on these sheets. Oh my gosh. So use my code PeaceNest15, and you can enjoy 15% off any of your purchases that you um, uh, purchase for the first time when you go to Peace Nest. Um, and I hope you enjoy it, honestly. So I am about to put a side table right here. So I used to have a bench here in my house, but I finally fixed out my light fixtures. Um, and I can show you guys that at the end because I positioned the camera already to show you all this. But this package just got here from right here. So I'm assuming it should be somewhere around this size. So it should fit perfectly on this wall. So let's get started. Let's see what it's shaking like. And I'm gonna show you some of the decorations that I found on Amazon that I would wanted to utilize um, once I actually got this going. Um, so yeah, we're about to build this out. Happy Saturday. Today I'm just focused on doing some home improvements. Um, and I am also going to clean up after this. I just wanna deep clean the living room area. Um, put away some clothes. I ended up going out last night, you know, when you look for an outfit. So I was looking for an outfit. Baby Chloe is here. Hi, Chloe. Come here, baby. Hi. Say hey, babes. Say hey, cutie. Say I was just being a really bad girl. Right? Yeah. Hi. Hi. So anyways, yeah. Me and Chloe are chilling. We're about to do some home improvements, right? Yes. Probably going to put on Game of Thrones or... Something on the TV so that it can keep me just going while I do this. Um, so let's get into it and let's see what the final project looks like. I'm 
was um, celebrating one of my best friends Shanice's birthdays and then I was also um, enjoying some of the activities for Spell House, so Spellman and Morehouse's um, homecoming this weekend. Um, so Chloe had surgery on Thursday. She had to get some teeth extracted and um, after, you know, she was fine. I got her around like maybe five o'clock on Thursday and um, like 5.30, we got home around like, you know, 6, 6.30 um, and she was fine up until Saturday night um, or very early Sunday morning. So it's currently Monday morning right now. So kind of like yesterday morning, I woke up um, and y'all, she was, there was like blood all over my floors. Like she's just been pooping blood like nonstop. Like, and I was freaking out at first. So I'm taking her to the ER right now. Um, yeah, it's been a day and I personally think it's the medicine that they gave her. Um, she's reacting to that because as soon as I typed that medicine in for after surgery, y'all, so many people's dogs had like got sick from it and they like, they were like, don't ever let people give this to your dog. And all the symptoms Chloe's having. So I'm on my way to the ER right now with her and, um, yeah, we'll just see, um, we will just see what is going on but I'm kind of annoyed because when I called Banfield which is where she typically goes um, they were just kind of like well we're overbooked today you should take her to the ER whereas I feel like if y'all did her surgery like y'all should be checking her out but that's a whole nother story <laughs> um, so yeah I'm just gonna try to be positive right now like I'm definitely a little disgruntled and annoyed I gotta get up early I've had to call the vet since seven like just dealing with her all day yesterday like having to clean up blood all day like I'm just kind of you know not in the best mood but whatever I'm gonna just be positive because all that just I just want to ensure she's like healthy and nothing is really gonna happen to her or like she's not really sick right now so I think that's also just having me feeling a little like just uneasy but whatever I'm gonna keep that updated we're gonna see what's going on once I like get to the ER and leave there with her I'll give y'all an update. All right, y'all. So I am back home. I was working today, but update on Chloe's vet. So she is actually feeling better um, today. And when I got there, they were like, pretty much like this is seriously a, a random side effect that can happen to certain dogs who take the medicine. You know, there's nothing you really do but let it get out of your system and you just don't give it to her. So she kind of just has to thug this out. They checked her vetals and everything was okay. So now I'm in bed. I am actually trying to order groceries so that I can meal prep for the week. I have been working out. I got back in the gym last week. Um, and um, yeah, that was great that I got back in the gym. I went two days. I'm trying to go two days this week or three days and then kind of ease back into three days a week. But just get in there two days a week right now. And what I found that works best is when I actually, um, when I meal prep, I always go to the gym more because I don't have to come home and worry about cooking. And I feel like that just helps. So I don't know. But anyways, while I'm ordering groceries for delivery right now from Kroger, I am watching my show and it is the season finale of the, um, the House of Throne. I mean, <laughs> Oh my god. Game of Thrones House of Dragons. Literally, like, y'all, I love this. But anyway, Chloe's chilling on the bed. And as you can see, I have my laptop. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. And I just woke up about 30 minutes ago. Um, and just started, oh, got getting ready to start my day. Just spill some of this tea. On the, um, the, the table but good morning I am about to actually um, have a pretty packed day today I have a training for work um, and it is about 8 14 a.m. so I am about to do some breath work this morning this is something that I have been trying lately and I really like it so I'm gonna do like 10 minutes of breathing try to meditate and pray um and i'm about to actually 
I do this, I can light the incense. One second. But I'm gonna first start before I even do that with lighting some incense this morning. And I actually forgot the incense upstairs. So let's go get it real quick. I went and got the lighter and forgot the incense. But um yeah, and let me grab a black candle. I'm about to light a black candle for some protection because um, you know, you could just never get enough. But as I clear my space, I got it upstairs, so getting this. And let me grab my black, white, and green candles this morning. Because yeah, why not? So and second. I actually keep all my little candles on this little like rotating thing here and then I choose which one I want to use certain days so let's get into the cheap candles I got um if you watch my spiritual meditation vlog or spiritual weekend vlog from the summer you know I got these um from Phoenix Dragon which is in Sandy Springs area and so I like to light the incense once I do my sage so this is this morning's setup and I just got my Bible here and some words of affirmation. And actually, I do want to do an oracle pull this morning. So, and then this. And I really love this deck. Also got this at Phoenix and Jack. And I got my little meditation pillow right here. We got YouTube ready. And all I do is just type in morning breathing exercise. And as you guys can see, there are tons of options you can choose from. So... Let's go ahead and get this, this party started. Right? And I'm not going to lie, my torch went out. Chloe is feeling better. She's hanging out with her mama today, right? Hi, Tootie. One thing I've noticed is that when I meditate, y'all, Chloe gravitates to me insanely. She, like, will be up my butt. And I don't know if it's because I'm calming my energies as an individual or what maybe it's the frequency of the music that i play because i'm not gonna lie when i play that like high frequency music her head be like mm, like what's that noise like like she part of the universe or some shit i don't know like <laughs> that should be crazy like because i'm like having an animal around while i meditate kind of like ties in the fact that i really do even more powerfully believe in god the universe like spirit all of that because why would she be affected by it and she has no idea what this stuff is but i feel like it's just within us and our spirits and our souls and all of that so you know we gonna set a positive intention this morning so typically what i do is i'll say i just want to remove all negative energy in this space you know protect this space um some people have said that you're supposed to open up your windows when you do this I'm being completely honest. I've done both and I don't really see a major difference. I feel like it's all about the intention that you set. And for a while I was even unaware you're supposed to do that. Nothing negative really happened. So I don't know, but it is pretty hard to light an incense <laughs> this big with a lighter this freaking small. Like I said, I lost my torch. So, you know, so anyway, I kind of just go ahead and I'm going to go back from breath work to just attracting pure, clean, positive energy. That is the YouTube video I'm about to put on while I That's what. So here we go. And this is what the music will sound like.
this was a really good like insight onto how you can kind of raise the vibrations of your day, get into a better space mentally. One thing I've noticed is when I just wake up and I hop right on Instagram or hop right on the phone with somebody, it throws off my energy for the whole day. So this moment for me to just ground and center myself is really powerful. So thanks for joining me this morning. I'm going to finish the rest of this before 9 a.m. when I have to start working. Um, so I only got a little bit of time. So I'm about to just kind of meditate and pray now over, um, you know, just the Bible verse that I read. So thanks y'all for joining me and I will see you guys later this week. Um, maybe I will take you to the gym with me actually, since that is what I should be doing. Later. Get a pull her close because she used to be an inside. Okay. Okay. So I like pull her close. Yeah, yeah. she likes to be like tight, she like she was in the womb. Yeah. Like you was hugging, you know, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <Are you ready? laughs> yes. Okay. Hey, mama. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pull her into you. Like, there you go. Look close. Keep that ball in the mouth. She good. Get in there. And pull it like you're giving her a hug. Mm -hmm. like she's a part of your body. <laughs> no, I don't think I can do it. Just hold it. She'll take it. Yeah, she will. Hey. Yeah. Not her head so much as her her body. Yeah. She's like, I cannot do this. She thing. can. Yes, she can. I don't think she's getting it. Okay. She's getting it. You get there it. You go. There you go. know this is it. Yeah. Just see back. See there you go. You got it, Kayla. Oh my God. She gets excited. She might not really be that hungry. It's more so like soothing her right now. Yeah. Your mama calling. Y'all, look at my freaking face. Every time I looked at the baby, I was like terrified. But it was so calming, but just tripping me out because it was a real like baby. But I've never really fed a baby, so I was just like, I don't want to choke her. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. See, I don't know. It's like when I put it in there. I don't think she's that hungry, okay, to be you honest. You think she just wants to be sick? No, she wants it. See? Maybe I need to help her sit up more. <laughs> Kayla, you can do it. You acted crazy. It's okay. I know. I know. Here, here, here. See, like, yeah, when I put it in her mouth, she's not drinking it, though. So I'm like, Ish, am I choking her? <laughs> I know. She went with the kitty. Yeah, okay. She's sleepy though. She's okay with the bottle. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so here you guys can see I like completely warmed up way more because I wasn't feeding her and I could just hold her and that was like a lot less anxiety for me. So this was like super chill and calm and she's so beautiful. Can you say hi to my YouTube? Yeah. No, 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 yeah. Yeah. She's so chill. She's just grabbing my arm. Her grip's getting pretty good. Her grip's getting pretty good. Mm -hmm. Look at this little bear. So I just ate. Now I'm in a better mood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she likes you. Decent standards Hi. Yeah, at first I'm like. Salehi. Hi. 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 Hey. Ooh. Doesn't that feel good? You know, a little massage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Like they really move and like just groove and like yeah. Mm. 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 Mm.